Well, Georgia's first significant commercial citrus crop came to market this season, and by all accounts, it has been a success story. Southeast Produce Weekly's Chip Carter checks in with this report from Savannah. I'm in Savannah, Georgia at the Southeast Fruit and Vegetable Growers Conference, and I am with some of Georgia's premier fruit and vegetable growers. In fact, these are guys who are branching out into brand new territory. It's Corbett Brothers Farms this year brought their first commercial Georgia citrus crop to market uh, line of satsumas, an easy peeler called Besties. Uh, it's the first time people could get it in supermarkets. It was available in the southeast in limited quantities, but what was the reception like? What was uh, the retail response? What was the consumer response to having this new product in their hands? Chip, it was wonderful. You know, once the consumer finally tried the product, they realized that it was much better than California grown product. You know, the satsumas that we're offering, you know, they're a little bit larger in size, but the flavor is outstanding compared to, you know, competing fruit. No joke, I got to my mother's house a week before Christmas and I walked into her kitchen and she was sitting there peeling and eating one of your besties. Now, I do not want to get letters from California. We love California fruit too, but there's still some fruit in the fields. That's right. We have about 10 more days left of running and bagging fruit. And as soon as we finish up this season, we'll wrap it all up and get ready for this coming November and we'll start it all over again. So those are still available at supermarkets in what area? What's your distribution area for the last of this crop? Uh, it's still all in the southeast uh, in Georgia. At all your major retail stores should have besties on the shelf. As you're getting towards the end of the season, that's when you're getting some of the sweetest, best, really best of the crop. That's right. I mean, it's sweeter. I mean, we've had enough cold weather on it. The bricks are very high on them right now. It's very good fruit. The quality is, is still there. So it's my understanding that next year there will be more fruit, more product, more acreage. You'll be bringing more to more, the table? More, more to the table, yes. We've got, we've got uh, some more groves that will be coming into production next year, uh, along with planting some, some new groves this year. Corbett Brothers, and actually your father, Ken Corbett, made your name in the vegetable business. That's right, Chip. Yeah, uh, ve vegetables has, uh, has always been what, we, what we've done and uh, not planning on backing up from that. We're gonna, gonna keep that rolling along with the citrus. We're uh, right in the middle of ground prep preparation now, getting, getting ready to plant the spring crop. We'll, uh, about the first of March, we'll start planting pepper and squash and cucumbers and, and the rest of the mix and come, uh, come end of April, we'll, we'll be back in the stores with that. Whether it's vegetables, whether it's citrus, I think the, the Corbett's are looking at it. They're bringing some fresh new perspectives to the table, some fresh new ideas. You gotta love it when you see a new plan work. In Savannah, Georgia, I'm Chip Carter from SoutheastProduceWeekly.com reporting for RFD-TV. We love it when a plan comes together. And look more for Chip soon. We're going to have in-depth interviews with the commissioners of agriculture of both Georgia and South Carolina. Chip's out there working hard to keep us up to date with Southeastern Produce.